right, cool people. We have our main event of the evening here. It's a tag team contest between Ryan Marks and Chris Gaines against Aaron Dallas and Zach Buchanan. Looks like we have a true battle of the fan favorites here. I mean, who's going to get the fans vote on this one? I mean, we've got four guys that the crowd loves. Ryan Marks actually seemed to be encouraging the fans to cheer A.A. Ron. Now, you've had some run-ins with Aaron Dallas. I have, and Zach Buchanan. I mean, he's the guy who do, That's did this to yeah. the elbow. So. Ruined your bowling career. He did. I mean, it's uh, Have you tried using your other hand? You know, it's a waiting game at this point. I mean, who knows what's going to happen. I can tell you, though, he's um, – He's tough as a box of nails. Aaron Dallas is too. I mean, both those guys. I mean, I've, I've tussled with all four of these guys, and they're all they're all solid. Every one of them. I mean, there's there's not a not a uh, a dud in the bunch here. I mean, this is going to be a barn burner. I think these guys are going to tear it up. So we don't need any barn burners here at Dillard's Music Park. That's true. Especially with that gas pipe over the rim. Yeah. I mean, who knows? A gas leak there could be a. A real building burner. So, ladies and gentlemen, you may be seeing it on the video here. That is not smoke. That is uh, fog from the entrance machine. Are you sure there's not a gas leak in here? Well, people might be smoking. Well, I thought that old lady, the fan, who I kind of got into it earlier in the show, I thought maybe she'd farted. So, different kind of gas. Methane is methane. That's true. It's all flammable. All right, we got 15 minutes on the clock, and well, it looks like A. A. Ron, and half of that 15 minutes is going to be spent encouraging the fans to cheer. Probably so. Probably start. a lot of turnbuckle climbing and a lot of, "Hey, come on now, cheer for me." These guys really bull the woods here, seeing seeing who's going to get the upper hand. Oh. Are they going to have a, a flex off? There's a lot of muscle in this ring. Chris Gaines coming back from a brief break with uh, NAWA Classic, which put on definitely some, some size. A lot of muscle in the ring, some of it the referees. Indeed. A <laughs> little bit of fan interaction there. Pandering is what it is, it's pandering. Uh, it is campaign season, so. Are you saying Ryan Marks might be trying to get elected? Possibly. I hear there's a city council spot open here. Maybe you should talk to uh, Leslie Nope or Ron Swanson. They they did it well in uh, Indiana, so. Is that a Parks and Recreation record? It was, oh. yes. Yes, from the great city of Pawnee. More of a always sunny fan. We do need a trash man here at NAWA Classic. And, and, and maybe a nice dive bar here in Rome to go with it, huh? No, there are plenty of those. <laughs> Test of strength. Very classic with this oak. And we got oh, oak trying, trying to, to take step out behind the leg. Oh. But it looks like it may have cost him there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Aaron Dallas giving up on the test of strength and is going for the straight arm bar. He remembered that this was a wrestling match. He did. Oh, into an arm drag, taking him down. There you go. Got that knee buried under his chin, so he's got full extension on that shoulder. Really putting a lot of pressure on the uh, – Ubulus, which is connected to the uh, upper upper dorsimus, I believe. It's it's pretty scientific, but you know, it's I think he just made words up. I, I'm I am not a doctor, but I do believe you just made those words up. They're discussing what just happened in the ring. Gaines seemed a bit confused about why they were cheering for him. Oh, big headline, headline takeover. takeover. Yep. Oh. The cheering did not help. Oh. 
Maybe it doesn't help when you've heard them cheer for everybody else. Potentially. It means less. It could cause a, a bit of a like a, a mental block, like like maybe a writer's block would, would have. Maybe it feels like being cheated on. Don't cheer for me. You've already cheered for them. You know, I see where you're coming from on that. That's a that's a, a uh, impressive analysis from from you on that one. I, I, Zach Buchanan looks like he's just itching to get in that ring. Pretty sure it's not some sort of rash. You know, we're not that close, so I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't think so. Open to interpretation. Talking but not tagging. Ryan Marks in the ring. Bit of a size difference for A.A. Ron. A little bit. He's got some. Got a bit of a mountain to climb here, literally. But the mullet has to account for something. You know, in the book of Judges, Samson found his strength, you know, from his hair. So bit maybe there's something there. Samson. And we've got, you know, the prodigal son. So there's just, uh, just illusions all in the ring here. So. Redneck Samson. I don't know what name you would go with for that. Oh, Zach Buchanan's had enough. He's, he's, he's ready to show what he can do here. Looks like he may be wanting Ryan Marks to have to pick on someone his own size. And like his dad, Bull Buchanan, he is a, he is a, big, a big boy. Tall order. He's fast, he's strong, he's young, he's healthy. I mean, all the makings that, uh, that you need to, to make it in the business. He's definitely Really got good at arm bars and things like that. Great at just any kind of submission that gets an elbow and just bends it in ways that it's not supposed to go. Allegedly. We've seen it a lot. Allegedly, yeah. Oh. In stereo. <laughs> big collision there in the ring. Looked like uh, two big trucks hitting each other. They're just trying to work out what exactly they can do to make this accomplish something. For everything anyone's tried thus far, the other person's had the answer. These guys all really showing that they've got, got a lot of skill. Oh, now what's the name of that move? Went that for he an but yeah. he didn't didn't connect with it. Again, cannot pronounce that Very word. Very familiar with that one. That's a favorite in the uh, Rob Adonis arsenal. But you can't can't do those anymore because your elbow. Or? Well, I mean, you know, so far it hasn't affected my knee or my ability to kick. But uh, is it spreading? Time will tell. You know, it's just a waiting game right now. Who knows? Oh, it's like we've got a uh, sharp shooter applied here. Had a hard time getting that one locked yeah. in. Those big legs of Ryan Marks really putting up quite a fight. Now what are they going for here? And now the shooter is going to come in, and let's see. Oh, oh, he drops an elbow in his back of his head. So what parts of a person does the sharp shooter hurt? You know, the the uh, ironically, it it not only damages the lower back because it's just been such a stress and a strain on it, but it also stretches your quadricep uh, at the knee connection where the knee connects. Um, that's why he is, you've got that, that knee uh, bit bowed backwards and that foot, you know, the instep kind of under your armpit bending back, you're, you're putting pressure, um, you know, you could easily tear a meniscus out during that as well as you're putting pressure on those those lower vertebrae. Now, Rob, I don't know if you realize this, but you used a real medical term just then of proper ana anatomy. Well, you know, um, the internet connection is solid in here, and so I've got. Uh, no, it's not, ladies got, and gentlemen. Do not let Rob Adonis lie to you. I am the content king, Joey Jones, and I can tell you right now at Dillard's Music Park, internet has not been hooked up in the last 20 years. Well, somehow I'm on WebMD, and Rob Adonis, that is a Dr. Seuss book. 
I'm pretty sure MD is in here somewhere. It says doctor on the cover. That doesn't mean it's a medical journal. It, it sure the heck does. That does explain the making up the words, though, so I do get it. Kind of surprised you haven't been rhyming at this point. Disappointed, honestly. Oh, two men on fire. Buchanan got the upper hand on that one. Big time scoop slam. Oh, close. Oh, big chop on Buchanan. Gaines did not like being slammed. And I can tell you, those chops hurt. Oh, looks like he's made Buchanan mad now. Oh, turnabout's fair play. Uh -oh. Woo! Yikes. Oh. Nice, right, trying them out at every turnbuckle. Oh, going for those fast uh, Japanese inspired chops. Snapmare over to a cover. Referee Rob, Kevin having a hard time even getting down there fast enough. Rob, when you deliver a chop, where do you try to aim to make sure you're being most effective? I try to hit just at the uh, at the peak of the pectoral muscle where it uh, where the two pectorals connect just uh, about uh, two or three inches below the voice box. Because I've found over my years hitting hitting kind of high up up there. Um, you, you get a good shot in on him, and it, uh, it takes the breath out of him, and that's that's kind of part of the goal. Shorten that breath, because again, can't breathe, you can't fight. I, I would have I would have assumed the nipple. Those just hurt. There, there's there's no breath part of that one, and you know, uh, those just sting. They're very painful, but they don't really affect the breathing a whole lot. Gaines really throwing those forearms in there. But he gets caught in the breadbasket. Oh, Aaron going for a fisherman suplex. Referee a little out of position. Had a one count off of it. Wow. It's not often you see a fisherman suplex lead to just the one. These guys are absolutely putting it all in the ring. Oh, back chop. Going for Yikes. chops to the back. Don't see those often. We're down to three minutes and 20 seconds left in this match. Yeah, the Buchanan time. delivering those European okay. uppercuts into a bulldog. A bulldog. Indeed. Yeah. A la father, yes. Oh, Ryan Marks in for the save, but not quite quick enough. Gaines got enough to kick out on his own. And Buchanan just trying to hold him down, wear him down. Rob Adonis, does that seem familiar? Because it seems like... Last show, you saw sleepers being used relatively often. Those, uh, that's a chin lock, but I think that the conceit is the same. Sure, the variation is subtle, but uh, you know, again, wrestling is a game of uh, of of airflow. I mean, if you if you can't breathe, then you can't fight. So if you can cut off that blood flow to the brain, if you can cut off the air to the lungs. You, you gain the advantage. So that's what happened to Chris Kamikaze. Apparently so. I've never been put to sleep Oof. with a sleeper hold, but uh, I can definitely tell you that afterwards, uh, Kamikaze told me that uh, he didn't know. Oh, a big choke slam. Him. So into a senton, out. Going to be hard to get up from that. Yep. Oh, near fall there for Ryan Marks. These fans don't know what to do with themselves. They're not sure. They, they, they've got four, they, four guys they love in here, and they don't know who to cheer for. We're down to about a minute and a half left in this match, and these guys are always oh, going for Sister Abigail. Oh, and he gets caught, and oh, rolled up. One, two, and oh, near fall again. A lot of people being surprised by the fact that their pin didn't result in a three count. Oh, he just decided to sit him down for a second. Got to take a breather. Amazingly, oh. it always seems like the good guys are surprised and the bad guys are just angry. Yeah. Oh, a big blockbuster off the top. So you're of the angry category. You would always be more upset that the count didn't go your way? Not in my opinion, but the uh, – 
Crowd didn't seem to like me. Well. You know, and I really never knew why because I was just out there trying to win, you know, trying to compete. I mean, you're really just a big teddy bear, right? Honestly, yeah. once you get to know me, I do a lot of charity work. And I've. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the vibe I've gotten all evening getting to commentate with you here. Oh, Ryan Marks pitched outside. Oh, now we're going up in the high rent district again. Oh, no. Avoid the pipe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, this could be a double power bomb. Oh, no. Oh. You also hurt your teammate when you did that, Ryan Marks. And everybody's down. So and that's the end of the match. What part of that injured Ryan? Oh, I... Uh, I guess, he may, I don't know, he may have pulled Just the exertion. muscle in his back, probably from pulling, I mean, because you're pulling six, seven hundred pounds away. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has been called as a time has expired, so it is a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has been called as a Oh, the fans calling for five more minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Yeah, sounds give like Rob Adonis would like five more yes, minutes as well. Yes, give him five more minutes. Five more minutes. Give them five more minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Right, Commissioner Brad Barnes coming down to the ring for the 10th time Give them tonight. Five more minutes. We need a winner here. Well, Looks like Dillard's Music Park wants five more minutes. Sounds like you're going to get what you want, Mr. Adonis. And we're back in the thick of it. We've got five on the clock here, folks. Looks like we're going to see who really wants this. Oh, and these guys are going at it. It's turned into a Pier 6 brawl. Pier 6 brawl. Yeah, real Adonibrook. Ah. Oh. Is that Kevin some Ryan guy you know? Top. I did go to college with a guy named Donnie Brook. Yeah, good guy. Fought a lot. Yep, left-handed, Canadian, everything you'd want in a friend. That's oh. pretty impressive, eh? Big double dives over the top. Ironically, one from each team member to the other, so. Let's see if they make eye contact. A.A. Ron trying to uh -oh. get the crowd behind him. Uh -oh. oh, he and. Eye contact's been made. We may have a couple heading into the ring to, to one duke another. this out. It feels like a National Geographic documentary a bit. You know? Here Interior. we see the wrestler in his natural environment. Oh, it's so athletic. Oh, Whoa. he went right under it. I think oh. Aaron Dallas has seen that flying crossbody before. Looks like he was waiting on it. These guys have got to be exhausted. Oh, big, big. time spine buster. Double leg spine buster. Look at that. Aaron Dallas demonstrating why he is the Rome Heritage champ. Oh, Ryan Marks in on the save. And we got guys down, bodies all over the ring. We got bodies on the outside. Oh, we've seen this before. Aeroplane spin. Uh-oh. Old school. Oh, not quite. Looks like Ganser had him scouted. A lot of uh, knowing what your opponent's. Oh, oh. big back draw. Belly to back. Back suplex. Yep. Sometimes a variation of a, of a uh, Saito suplex also. Oh, let's see what. A lot of names, all sort of the let's same see thing. See what Buchanan's got. Oh. Oh. Oh, big driver slam. Oh, Ryan Marks with the save on his partner. These guys really want it. I mean, we've got fans standing all over the arena just waiting. Just, I mean, who knows what's going to happen in this. Oh, now Ryan Marks has got 
Oh. Samoan drop. Running Samoan drop. Impressive. Dragging himself for the cover. Hooking that leg to keep him off the ropes. Oh, and Buchanan kicks out. So close. Aaron Dallas ready to break the pin up. Didn't even have to. Nope. Buchanan, Buchanan still had it in him. With the wherewithal to kick out knowing where he was. Oh, Gaines and Ryan Marks doing a little strategy session here. Oh, we're down to 90 seconds. Everyone in the ring seems exhausted at this point. Oh. The fans wanted oh. the five more minutes, but it seems like the wrestlers might not have needed it. Oh, goodness. Oh, big gut shot there from Ryan Marks. This one's turned into an all-out brawl. It is. This is just a slobber knocker. We got a minute left, fans. This is some unbelievable back and forth. Trading just the forearms. Forearms flying. Oh, that's why they say slobber knocker. I get it now. Right, because of the slobber part. Oh. Oh, it's like they lured him into that one. Oh, now here they go. Oh, back at him. Again, well scouted. We've got a half a minute to go, fans, and somebody. Oh, you know, the, the collision in the ring there. The biggest surprise here is that Gaines hasn't taken advantage of this situation. He has a lot of experience as a tag team wrestler. He does. The most experienced guy in the oh. ring. Double clothesline. Oh. We got all four down. The fans are going rabid in this building. Well, that, Unbelievable. Uh, that's it. That's counted out. And fans, that's going to do it this week, I think, for NAWA Classic. Yep. Yep. It's been nice, Mr. Adonis.